Well, good morning from North Bend, Washington. Fixing to get our day started here. Unfortunately, right before I hit Sequami, my SD card was full. So we missed all that beautiful footage. Was it anywhere to really uh, fix it? So maybe some other time, maybe next year we'll be able to video Sukwami. Unless, of course, we go back that way, which I doubt it because I have a load picking up that goes to. Uh, San Francisco, well just south of San Francisco, Watsonville, and so you gotta stop in Salinas, Watsonville, uh, I want to say Windsor, and then SoQ, SoQ, I don't know what it is, down there below uh, San Francisco on the coast, should be a beautiful ride. Cow, that was a bad. That was a bad hole right there. Unbelievable. I think I need to fix that. That's the most I ever shook this old rig up. I'm crazy. Look at that. Tell you, they're flopping around like a dead fish now. All right. Well, we won't do that again. Thank you, TA. Awesome drive, what you got? That place fills up fast. Probably should have cleaned that window off this morning before we headed out. Let's get all our navigational devices going. I wish I'd wrote that guy's name down that <clears throat> saw me enter the TA yesterday. And uh, I seen the comment three hours after you left. I was to go to bed. I went to that barbecue restaurant across the street and ate, which was okay. It wasn't nothing spectacular. But we could have met and had dinner, man. So, uh, my apologies. You might not have had time anyway. You might have just been passing through. I don't know. So, anyway. Uh, we are on our way to Auburn. I should have done a panoramic view of the parking lot there of the TA. Some of you guys have never been, it's nestled with the beautiful mountains all the way around it. This is what happens, uh, I had to run chains going across Sequami, you know, I, there's nowhere to park, uh, the chain law is right back there, the carry on lease till I can't, I can't do like those guys did, so I had to, I had to throw the iron and climb the mountain, it'd be much safer to park there on the side there, or somewhere, uh, until the uh, storm passes. But no, nope, zero tolerance on uh, sitting duck, they call it. So you're forced to uh, do whatever you have to do. But you can't sit there. But anyway, beautiful area. Got 62 there, birds. 
pay attention to this communist state. I only want you to do 60 in a trip. Morning coffee. Anyway, we got uh, 7.2 miles to go to exit 25, which is Highway 18. It's a nice little stretch. Uh, busy little stretch. But it might be uh, video worthy. I mean, this is, but you guys get cheated so, so much because you don't get to see it, you know? You can't see what I see. Uh, anyway, I just, I love it up here. I love the Pacific Northwest. And I'm really gonna enjoy the next few days dropping down to Cali. Okay, I'm back quiet. We'll see y'all in a little bit. Well, we didn't video anything uh, coming down Highway 18. Once we uh, turned you guys off back there on 90. So, it was a very uh, picturesque, picturesque, whatever. <clears throat> so, and uh, we're way ahead of traffic. Now there was about eight miles going north that was all backed up, but going south we are great. So we're going to the famous Highway 167. Seems like every time I come to Washington, Washington, everything's off 167. Everywhere I go, whether it's Green Mountain Coffee or so, who's the other customer? Did anyway. So yeah, seems like everything is in that area. So. We're about 13 minutes away from our delivery over there in Auburn, so we will uh, cut the uh, delivery feed in here somewhere. We'll see if we pick you guys up uh, anymore on this journey, or we just wait till we start shooting down to five through uh, Oregon. Northern California. So you guys have a great day. We'll catch y'all on the next one. See ya. Okay, well I'll just give you guys a shot of Oregon today. We're probably not going to do any hardcore video until we get down here to Medford. Shoot the last 30 miles or so of it. But uh, cause I mean, all of, all of Oregon is beautiful, uh, but we just can't video the entire last 120, 130 miles, you know. So what we did, we get down here to Medford, uh, we're going to start down to Petro, get some fuel, and then we'll video that last, uh, bit of it for you guys. But it's actually, uh, absolutely beautiful state driving through here. But anyway, so we'll catch you guys as well after a while. Okay? See ya. Well, hello, uh, YouTube world. I don't know if you guys can uh, <clears throat> see all this smoke. We are in uh, just south of Medford, Oregon on Interstate 5 running south on our way to California but it's really smoky today hopefully y'all can see that smoke a lot of fires in the area never seen any fires but I hope I won't
appreciate that Western Express. See a lot of guys doing that. I don't know if that's illegal. I guess it is a legal travel lane. Luckily today, I don't have to find out. Cause we got the big horse. Stopped back there at the uh, Petro and technically it's Phoenix, not Medford. Stopped there at the Petro and fueled up. Normally I do not fuel up in Oregon, but Oregon the pump price was for me it was 221 a gallon and in Washington it was uh, two like two 247 I think 257 and then California is uh, 267 268 so with the fuel tax credits it was an even an even wash so we either pay a lot of money per gallon or get the cheap rate per gallon and fuel taxes it's the same it balances out are the same so it really didn't really didn't matter I'm sure I'll be buying fuel in California as well we had a load booked out of California going to Fort Worth Texas and they just called me and canceled <clears throat> so I'd rather them cancel today than the day the load picked up so we should be focused on load, load alerts instead of videoing because it's only uh, 2.20 uh, local time still still a few loads are popping pretty good little pool and I've ran this with uh, chains on before not fun at all they will get up here and get above the smoke Having to keep my uh, asthma inhaler handy. <coughs> and you think I I smoked for about ten years of my life, whatever. I don't, I don't smoke anymore. I quit smoking four or five years ago, but it. Uh, well, I wasn't gonna get over there and run that shoulder. I'm done 45. <coughs> but I, I'm. Uh, I have asthma, so this air quality is a little rough. I could probably go up a gear, but I'm just letting her cruise along. Not, uh, 
not pushing it today. We are not going to have the hours to make it all the way to the Constantine anyway. Probably going to stop way short because of available truck stops of where I'm going. But we are going to hit the first blue beacon in California and get this old girl cleaned up. Looks like it has Coca-Cola syrup or something all over it. I don't know what it is, but those roads in uh, Wyoming were nasty. hill just keeps going and going and going doesn't it long steep down great ahead so I guess we are coming to the end of it brake test area half a mile now let's say signs wide or it says mandatory uh, we do not have to stop it's yellow or uh, orange you see seven miles six percent grade beautiful we can handle six percent so uh, jet brake Does a fine job. Elevation forty three ten. Highest elevation on I five. All right. Speed limit is fifty five, so we'll put the cruise about fifty one. See how that does. The Jake brake does a lot better without the cruise set. Let's see how she holds it seven seven percent versus six percent for seven miles. Can you guys see that view? Pretty awesome, eh? Man, it is smoky today. I guess this is where I did that short driving clip I posted on YouTube. That's the only clip I have of this road because I didn't uh, video it. So today I made sure we video it. But like that, I got the cruise set it and then. Uh, Actually, I've dropped the cruise down to 49, and she's holding uh, 54 miles an hour on this 6% grade. And I'm not, I'm not doing anything except letting the truck, letting the engine brake hold it. I know you're asking me what kind of weight we have. I really do not know. I did not scale it, <clears throat> but I think it's probably between 15 to 18,000 pounds. And uh, so, yeah, got a couple of broke down up there. I don't know what's going on. Three of them in a row. I guess that's seven miles of six percent was too much on them. Got to speed our cruise up now. We at least want to do the speed limit at 55. 
I didn't speed up at two mile an hour there, truck. I guess he was he was running away on that downhill and then we got to this flat spot and he I guess maybe he's heavy. Cause I only, I only sped up uh, two to three miles an hour as he was starting to come around. But he's probably super heavy. Yeah, cause look at him, he's way back there. Pulling his grade, so yeah, he's he's really heavy. Check it. Hopefully, my <laughs> recording is recording. Yeah, when it's not so smoky, man, you can see a long ways. That's that's really awesome. Really beautiful. We are fixing to uh, leave the beautiful state of Oregon and enter the beautiful Northern California. Oregon thanks you. Come back soon. And there is Oregon.